100%. This is how you control your flies. Nesting pair of swallows. Tree swallows use this. Bluebirds. If you get them too close to the woods, the wrens and different things like that. But my target species is tree swallows. Nesting pair of tree swallows. Four to six thousand flies with the nest fledglings a day. This is, if, if you make the standard bluebird house, it's made out of a one by six, has a smaller floor on it. Okay, we were having entire uh, boxes of fledglings die because of the small floor. The tree swallows have six, usually have six little ones. And what happens is having them crammed in there so tight, if you get like an 80, 85 degree day on your box, it'll kill your babies. So this here is a five and a half by five and a half floor. And you empty those and send them out every year? Yeah, in March. In March, we leave the, the nest. Uh, the birds actually line them with feathers and wool from the sheep. And a lot of animals through the winter use these for uh, habitat. So we leave leave the nests in them. And then are you putting those on posts through the field? I'm putting, them on, the, I'm putting them on top of the post. I have a two by two that I screw here and then I set it. I set it about two to three inches above the post. That way I can get the ventilation through the bottom. Yep. Yep. Uh, of, of like pasture posts? Like your. Yeah, my wooden tree. post. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're not doing it at the official bluebird tree swallow height that's like up much higher than that. You're finding the shorter. I put right up, right above my way. post. My posts are sitting at 52 inches, I believe. Um, I get hit with what about the snakes and the raccoons and everything coming in here to eat them. Well, they're sitting on top of electric fencing. So the snakes, the raccoons, it's better than any cone that you can put around a, a bottom of a uh, post.